All right, so let's say you create an e-commerce shopping cart on WordPress using the free WooCommerce uh, plugin, which can be installed through your WordPress dashboard for free. All right, and then you have your site and you have products, and you want to have a product that looks uh, like this, with different options for things like color, size, flavor, uh, something like that with different prices for each one and uh, of course you have different images to show off your different products or maybe you don't but let's say you want these drop down items and all you've created so far is something like this kind of simple product where all the customer can really do is add to the cart and that's the only way to interact with the product so how do we set up those drop down menus all right, well, I'll show you how right now. First, we want to log in, of course. And then once you're logged in, you have to set up something called attributes. So here's WooCommerce over here, and here's our products. And where we want to go is this attributes tab. All right. So if we click on that, we can see that I've created two attributes for color and size. And attributes is really just a fancy word for options or different types of something. And the attribute is the, the characteristic which makes things different. So let's say I wanted to create an option like flavor for those donuts we were just looking at. I would just write in flavor and uh, give it a slug of flavor. If we have select here, then it lets us use a drop down menu, whereas text allows manual entry. So let's use select for now and then add attribute. All right, so that alone won't change our product. Um, this product will still be simple like this. But now when we edit the product, we'll have a little more more options and to find those options we have to change the product from a simple product to a variable product all right if you do this and then you just update right away your product is gonna say it's out of stock and not available and it won't it might not show up in the right places which is just gonna annoy you so what you actually have to do is a couple more steps to get those drop downs in and uh, this is something I just figured out recently so you have to go to variations and um, before you do that you have to go to attributes once we're in this attributes tab we can choose the right attribute and you're gonna be sick of that word by the time we're done then click the brown add button and then within this values area you have to go ahead and decide what different attributes you'll use so this alone can be pretty challenging and um, you know it was pretty awesome to figure out how to do it so just follow along and it's gonna be things like glazed and maybe uh, chocolate for my donuts but if you just write things in it goes away so we have to add them by clicking add new and then you can write in your words and click enter and then that'll work a little bit better. So let's go and look at the donut and I'll just go based on the picture which I got from Google Images just by right clicking and saving image as. Pretty simple. So it looks like we have a strawberry donut, a chocolate, a vanilla, Um, and then one more um, and this could be about anything you want for any sort of products you're selling I think that had coconut on it and then um, just um, I don't know what that last one really is but we'll just call it red red donut and then you also need to click used for variations for those things to show up 
on the variations tab and then save now when we go to variations it's gonna look like this for you with the link all variations button which will set up every possible outcome of your items um, in my case every possible outcome of donuts and then I think you have to set the price uh, manually so this is one way to save time but I just want to manually add variations and by doing that I can say that the chocolate frosted is four bucks five donuts for twenty one for four and then click add variation I can also ch choose um, a new variation um, by choosing a new flavor and then setting the price for that one and maybe the glaze is only three dollars make sure to click add variation and um, the add variation button will actually let you make uh, more variations and the screen can get cluttered so make sure to expand and contract the right items here alright so um, you can do a few more and then maybe say the uh, strawberry coconut is going to be a little more expensive for uh, eight dollars it's an expensive donut but it's on sale for five and uh, that's great so now that we have three variations I'll click update and then when we check out our donut page I'm just gonna refresh this and hopefully it'll look different alright now we have this flavor choose an option and the price varies so based on the types of donuts we set up in the product page and the prices we gave them those prices will be listed here and they're actually just crossed out because the five dollar donut is a sale price So the price ranges from three dollars to five dollars for our donuts and um, I guess just, I should just change the product to uh, donuts because we're now selling them individually alright so then when we choose uh, different types that will reflect um, in the appropriate manner with the price and uh, the only donuts available are the donuts that we created variations for the chocolate frosted, the glazed, and the strawberry coconut but if we wanted to make it so that the other ones are available like maybe the um, the uh, vanilla frosted donut then you just have to create another variation and then update of course and there we go now vanilla frosted is available and we can go ahead and play around a bit and add things to the cart alright so that's how to set up a variable product in WordPress's WooCommerce uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'm happy to help in the comments and good luck selling